three date calculations that accounting and finance people need to know. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform to create amazing websites. I'll talk more about them during the video. Number one is quarter from date. To calculate the calendar quarter, we start off by saying choose, select the month of the date. So month of our date and then this will give you a value from 1 to 12. For calendar quarters, first three months will be Q1, second three months will be Q2 like that. So we'll simply say 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. We'll get our answer here. It will only say 1, 2, 3. But we would like to print this as Q1, Q2, Q3 like that. So we'll take this choose output, put a Q in the front in double quotes and ampersand that so that we get the answer. What about financial quarter? The calculation for this will be exactly similar, but the parameters for the choose will change depending on when your financial year begins. So if your financial year begins, let's say in July, then the first quarter will be July, August, September. So our formula thus becomes Q ampersand choose month of my date, three comma three comma three, four, 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 one, 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 two, two, two and you'll get the correct quarter results here. The second formula that you need to know is how to calculate the first working day of the month. Again, this depends on how your work week is defined, but let's just say your work week is, work week is from Monday to Friday. In that case, the first work day of the month is nothing but the very first Monday of the month. So we can do this by constructing a date, which has, let's say 2021 as the year, the month will be number one, and then the day would be, we'll start off with the day zero and then we will send this to the work day function and add one working day to it. I'll get the answer. If your work week is not from Monday to Friday, but maybe something else like from, for example, Saturday to Thursday or something else, then you could use workday.intl to specify what is your weekend style and accordingly this formula will adjust. The third formula is the last working day of the month. But first, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform to create your website. Maybe you're an accountant and you would like to build your website business. You can use Squarespace and set up a small business website very easily. There are ready to use templates too. For example, I like this DGRA template and I can preview it I can customize any aspect of this template and make it personal and relatable to my clients. So if you would like to launch your own website or a passion project, I recommend checking out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch your business, visit squarespace.com slash chandu. That is squarespace.com slash chandu for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. The third formula is the last working day of the month. Here I got some dates that corresponding to the first of the month and I just want to figure out what is the last working day in the month. If I just want to get the last day of the month, we can use the evo month function. So evo month of that and then stay in the current month. So we'll just say zero. That will take me to 31st of Jan from 1 Jan. But what we need is not the last day, but the last working day to get there instead of evo month we will go to the very first day of the next month and from that day we go back one working day so that we can get to the last work day of this month so to do this we will simply say e date of this comma one and then this will give you first of february from here i can just say work day and then minus one this will take me back one working day from the 1st of February, which will effectively land us on the last working day of the month within Jan. If you are looking for a little more education on formulas, I suggest checking out my top 10 Excel formulas video that is linked somewhere up in the screen here. And if you would like to learn more about accounting related Excel applications, let me know what you want to learn in the comments below so that I can use that for my upcoming videos. Thanks. Bye bye.